welcome back. As you can see, I've changed my background again, and I've looked at some of the backgrounds that some of you have chosen, and you might find that you will need to change your backgrounds also because you have so many colors that your quotes are not gonna show up very well on the background. So keep in mind that the main point of your poster is your quote, so make sure that it's easy to read and not getting lost in a busy background. What we're gonna do today uh, with this video is add a photograph. So over here at the left, you'll find the button that says photos. If we click on that one time, you will see what is trending and recently used ones. And up here, so it'll say search millions of photos. So I'm going to just go on a limb here and type the word strength because strength and weaknesses is kind of what my quote is about. This one is free. That's what I want. The line is kind of cool. And what's neat is I got several I can pick from here that are free. Now, as soon as you see the word pro, please don't use those because you're going to have to pay for those. So I'm going to go with this one. If you want to keep it proportional, drag from the corners. This little dial lets you tilt the picture if that was something that would look good with your particular quote. Now I'm going to move mine to the left and a pink line is going to show up to show that I'm at the even with the left edge of my quote and I'm going to put it there because I want it in line with my quote. So go ahead and watch the rest of this video and then click on photos and add a picture that ties into your quote.